Welcome to Zoological World today we will discuss about aurochs amazing aurochs facts aurochs are the ancestors of all domesticated cattle. This domestication event first happened around 10,000 years ago. Scientists believe they were actually domesticated twice. The first leading to the zebu cattle of South Asia and the second leading to the taurine cattle of Europe. Aurochs were animals that played an important role in many human cultures. They are depicted in the famous Lascaux cave painting of France, which are around 17,000 years old. They also appeared on various heraldry, murals, and trinkets around the world. They were also vividly described by Julius Caesar during his wars in Gaul, modern-day France. At one point, the aurochs were probably the largest land mammals to occupy Europe. Their size even eclipsed the saber-toothed cat and the European lion. Scientists have tried to bring back the aurochs in various ways using methods such as modern biology and DNA. Aurochs appearance and behavior The aurochs were a member of the order of even toed ungulates, meaning hoofed animals that bear weight equally on two of their toes. Although they are extinct, scientists have been able to reconstruct their appearance with some degree of accuracy from skeletons, paintings, written descriptions, and genetic analysis. The aurochs was an animal that resembled modern cattle but with longer legs, a bigger skull, broad horns, and massive shoulder muscles. The coat color was a dark black or brown with a white stripe running down the spine. These formidable beasts probably measured up to 6 feet at the shoulder height and weighed somewhere between 1,500 and 3,000 pounds. This would make them among the largest bovines to ever live. Female cows were much smaller than the male bulls on average and also had smaller horns and a lighter color. Because scientists cannot directly observe the behavior of the aurochs, they must make some inferences based on written descriptions from the historical records and the behavior of modern cattle. It is believed that aurochs congregated in herds of up to 30 individuals for at least part of the year. It is also possible that some herds were mostly composed of a single sex at a time. Like modern bovines, they probably had complex social relationships that could either involve affection or dominance, depending on the situation. Both males and females engaged in fights and displays for social status. When provoked, the males were highly aggressive and could cause serious injury to any predators or threats. Aurochs habitat at the height of their population, the aurochs roamed across most of the Eurasian supercontinent. The main subspecies of aurochs, Bos primigenius primigenius, covered a huge range of territory from the Atlantic to the Pacific, though it was probably absent from Ireland, the Arabian Peninsula, South Asia and Tibet, Japan, and the far north. A second subspecies, Bos primigenius nematicus, was primarily found in the Indian subcontinent. A third subspecies, Bos primigenius africanus, inhabited the North African region from Morocco to Egypt. The aurochs preferred to inhabit grasslands, floodplains, and lightly forested woodlands in temperate climates. This enabled it to thrive in a huge number of different places. However, due to the large grazing lands needed to maintain their population numbers, it also put them at conflict with people and domesticated cattle for living space. As human civilization spread, the species gradually died out over most of its habitat and only survived in Eastern Europe until the 17th century.